Uh, not only does the set designer, in a way, um, tell you where you are, but it tells you kind of why you're there and, and tries to give a subliminal feeling about the piece. Then you make a lot of sketches, a lot of rough drawings, usually on the back of a napkin or in the meeting or whatever, not finished renderings. And those then evolve into, a three, because it's a three-dimensional form, into, into very rough scale models. It usually starts with what we call a white model, which is just made out of white card, no color, and you're dealing with the shape of what's going to, the space that's going to be on the stage. That then evolves into evolves to color models, usually in a bigger scale as it gets more finished. And uh, then you do when that's all approved by the director, you end up making technical drawings for not not how it's built, but that show what you want to see on the stage in, in flat drawings that can be given to a shop so they can take it from there and build it. And then we get into the theater, and when, 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 it's, when we supervise the show while it's in the shop, sometimes we have to do separate drawings that show what color it's going to be, the paint elevations. Uh, then it's loaded into the theater, and you hold your eyes and hope that, you know, in front of your eyes and hope that it's going to look like what you think it is. And I think the most difficult job for the set designers when they see the set on the stage for the first time. And then you go through the technical rehearsals and on to opening night.